Hey guys, today we're going to be reacting to Bleach, and I have a problem that I want you guys to help me solve. So, my whole intention of starting Bleach was to get caught up before the new arc airs in the fall season of this year. Um, but, at my current pace, which is I'm only doing, what, four, maybe eight episodes a week, maybe, at most, I am not even going to be close. I might only get halfway to finishing through the entirety of Bleach, which is, I think, like 360 episodes or something. Um, so, I wanted you guys to help me out with this and let me know what you'd like to see. I could, At my current pace, I'm not going to make it in time. I was thinking I might skip recording all of the fillers. I will still watch uh, all of the fillers, I believe. Um, but maybe I will not do a actual recording reaction style video for those. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see still like maybe like an arc review, like a filler arc review for those. Even if I do that, I'm still gonna come up short. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think I should just like speed up and watch a bunch of episodes on my own and then maybe do some review type stuff instead? So that way I can binge watch without having to do these kinds of videos. Cause that's one of the problems is that this kind of video takes a long time to record. It takes a long time to edit. And I only have so much time during the week because I work a full-time job, uh, and I always and I don't want to miss my seasonal airing anime. So it's 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 a big uh, it's a big conundrum I got going on here. Now I'm gonna still do start doing this for now, but once we start hitting that first filler arc area, I think that's when I'm gonna have to start thinking about what I'm gonna do. So guys, please let me know down in the comments what you guys think I should do to make sure I speed up and get caught up to Bleach before this upcoming October anime season. Last time Ishido was introduced and he started a battle with Ichigo to see who can clear He started a battle with Ichigo to see who could kill the most hollows um, in a certain time frame and he summoned a bunch of hollows and then this is kind of like and then because all these hollows appeared um, they were attacking all the characters with high spirit energy like Orihime and Karin who's Ichigo's sister and Chad and we saw Chad and Orihime had powers awakened these last two episodes. Um, and so they're going to be fighters from now on because they actually have the power to fight hollows. And they actually did exercise some of the hollows. So it's going to be interesting to see going forward what happens. Uh, this has already been a long intro, so I'm just going to kick it to Bleach. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this reaction. I really, really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get going. Bleach. All right. Here we go. <laughs> ah, still his kill. <laughs> oh, we're gonna bring it to a one on one fight now? But you'll chop him in half. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, because like somebody else was interfering with this. What? 200 years ago. What? Oh, that's why they hate them. Oh. Some of all souls in the soul society in the human world is not changed. Souls can travel between the two worlds. Interesting. Quincy appeared, totally destroying the hollows. Any soul who left the soul society for the human world would never return. Huh. So the worlds would end if they had not stopped the Quincy's. This is crazy, dude. Well, no wonder Ishida hates the Shinigamis then. But if they said it was 200 years ago, then how could have his grandpa been... Teach... How could his grandpa be his teacher? Oh, he doesn't actually care about it. Really? Interesting. Okay. Grandpa was a pretty tempered man. Oh, he was the last. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. Wow. 
I don't even understand really. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's time to team up, boys. Let's go. I like this. Okay. Uh, sure. Soon, soon, kun. There you go. That's the real reason. Ah. Uh, the conglomerating of ideals there. Alright, Ichigo. Hell of a speech going on right now. Let's go. Yari yari does it. Uh, okay. Rivals. Woo! Alright. Okay. That's a pretty fucking cool scene there. Woo. Damn. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit! That doesn't look good. <laughs> oh shit, Rukia. She's also spooked. What the fuck is that? Rukia ass looking motherfucker. You guys better hurry up and take care of these little guys. Because that's going to be a big problem. Oh? <laughs> Just... Honestly, the kid bringing in a rocket launcher. <laughs> Urasaka shows up. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? How did that happen? That thing is ginormous. It's like a kaiju. Menos? What the hell? A gigantic hollow. From a bunch of them joined together. Oh, that's... That's not good. I can't believe it either. And they're gonna make... Well, they're gonna both do it together, obviously. <laughs> it's too late now. Urahara seems to believe. Urahara's got some some kind of underlying intentions for both of them. Ooh, he's like he didn't even like cut him. Just a little prick there. What the hell? His blood's like black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the spirit energy he's leaking into. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it's huge. Oh, they're talking. This is the first time they're going to see him in action. Whoa. <laughs> He's putting this sword on his head. <laughs> <laughs> he just swings the damn sword. <laughs> it's time to use it, boys. Uh, 
Hey, yo. That's not good. The expert, hurry up. It didn't work the first time. Ooh! Laser beam, bro. He's holding it off, though. He's cutting it. What? Hey, yo, let's go, boy. Look at the flex on this man. Unless you have unlimited spirit power. Then, then. This is what Urahara wanted everybody, everyone to see. Holy shit, let's go. Is retreating the number one in the background. Ichigo, holy shit, man. Holy shit. Okay, I knew Ichigo was strong, but damn the potential on this man. He's going to be so tired now, though. Of course you don't after all that. What? What's happening? This, his Zanpakuto is like bending. Will somebody save him? Oh! Ooh! Ooh! He's using it to. Oh, okay. That's gotta take a toll on him, too. Oh my god, dude. I like this guy, man. <laughs> I love the dynamic, man. This is what I like to see. Oh, the music hits, man. That track, this track specifically hits. I love this track. Man. No, you're fine, bro. You'll be fine. Zanpakuto take the fucking rivalry, bro. I love it. It's just the early stages, too. Man, I just want to keep watching this shit. Real quick episode recap, bro. Like, Ishida and Ichigo's rivalry. I'm absolutely loving that early stages of that. And I'm loving the scene that they're working together um, now. And I, I, just, I just love that dynamic already, man. Um... We saw Ichigo's unlimited power in this episode. Like, he just, like, popped off with that attack. That, he, he, like, he, his spirit energy is crazy high. I don't even I don't even know what to think about that right now, man. Urahara seemed to have known that he had that much power, and he wanted to show Rukia, Orihime, and Chad that Ichigo is something special. And I think Orihime and Chad, after seeing that, are definitely going to walk the, the path of being fighters going forward um and fighting hollows um and i just can't wait to see more man i just want to keep marathoning this shit uh because i really want to get caught up and there's some characters some biddies that i want to meet down the road so let's just keep going with it next episode let's go all right let's see man they're all in shock after what ichigo just did he defeated a menos What if the Soul Society finds out about how strong Ichigo is, man? Are they gonna, they're going to want to keep him around. Because <laughs> you're a fucking mod soul, man. You're really not. I'm sorry. Rukia. What's she doing? She's not there. Oh, no. Okay. 
えておるわどうかしたのか手を回してごらん昨日の今日で少し疲れておるだけ Yeah <laughs> He's gonna be so into the girls <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Orihime, what's up? Ohio Desuwa. Oh my god. Let it know Joe sama way of speaking. You know. I know it's only been a couple episodes, but I'm starting to like Rukia a little bit. I know people usually, like, what I've heard is that people don't like her, but I don't know. She's all right. He does. Oh, no. She loves him. <laughs> hey, yo. She does got some big booba. <laughs> Jesus, I never realized until now, really. <laughs> Cone. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Cone, you're such a perv. Hey, yo! Or he can hit a fucking baseball? <laughs> of course he was. Now, what's up with Ishida? What's he doing after this? He's probably exhausted, too. Sorry, guys. I'm not really paying attention right now. Let me close this. Ruki has got a lot on her mind. What does it mean for her if Ichigo has that much power? <laughs> Rukia is really glum after yesterday. Orihime and Chad have both seen it too. Do they know about Rukia though? I don't know if they do. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this guy. He, yeah, honestly, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Ishida. See, I like him, man. He's a good character. Hey, man. Hey, Rukia, if you sit up on that tree, something, something bad's planned. Bound to happen. It's because they're coming for her. That's why she's feeling like that. I think they're going to come for her again. Why was that weak-ass voice? Black cat. Yoruichi. Wait a minute! This is who I've been waiting for! Oh my god. I actually didn't know she was an actual cat. I mean, I knew she had cat ears and shit, but I didn't know she was, like, she had a full cat form. See, I know some things about Bleach. But not a lot. It's just Chad. Chill out, bro. Because you're rivals now. Oh, come on. You soon soons. <laughs> They're exactly alike. <laughs> That's just a piece of cake! Bean jelly? I mean... That's all carbs. No wonder, no wonder her tits are so big. 
That's what I just said. <laughs> She's never been afraid of him. What's she gonna say? My cousin. Oh. <laughs> That's how you think, Orihime? <laughs> Orihime. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But you're like total lesbo for Orihime, so... Oh, what the... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's not wrong. Okay, wait. More importantly, is Yorichi actually gonna appear? No. Cohen, what the hell is up with you this episode, man? Here she is? Did he just fart? <laughs> hey, yo. Man, I think this would have been more fun if I didn't know who Yoruichi was, like, later on. Rukia's gonna do something. She, maybe she doesn't like that that's the only thing that they have in their relationship? I don't know. That's the first time she's ever asked him. She is a little off. <laughs> You're just touching Rukia's booba. She doesn't care. Yeah, stop touching her booba. Yushi does gonna patch him up. <laughs> Don't challenge Yushi to a sewing challenge. <laughs> Yorichi is a man? I'm so confused right now, guys. I'm really, really confused. Rukia left. Uh oh. Oh, it's because they're coming for her now. What is this technology going on here? Wait, I feel like the other guy looks familiar. So that was a very lazy episode to start. Kind of slow paced, kind of showing that Rukio was off after seeing what happened with Ichigo in the prior episode where he unleashed that much power. But she, you know, with Urahara stopping her and binding her, like she kind of started to realize and think about how the Soul Society is still going to be coming for her. And she just didn't want Ichigo to be involved anymore. Um, so, you know, she ended up running away. Um, and we even had, like, her actually ask Ichigo how he was doing for, like, the first time. Was every time that he she would come up to him, it would always be for a hollow. But this is the first time it wasn't for that. It was to actually check on him and see how she's doing. So, and obviously, she wasn't happy with that relationship the way that it was with her and him only connection being through being the Shinigami. Um, they kind of have grown together a little bit over the last 15 episodes. And, you know, obviously she wasn't happy with that, but she also didn't want to hurt him, so she ran away. And now we got the introduction of two uh, two new Shinigamis from Soul Society at the end there who are clearly chasing her. So we're going to have to see how that goes. Also, the introduction of Yoruichi, who I'm very confused about because I know she's a sexy tan 
anime girl with a huge ass, and she's a cat with the voice of a man in this episode, and I'm just really confused. I mean, obviously, I think if I didn't know any, if I knew even less about Bleach and I didn't know who she was, uh, I would have been a little bit more okay with it and been pleasantly surprised later, but right now I am very confused about that. Uh, anyway, let's get on to the next episode, guys. Here she goes. Hey, yo. She's thinking about it. It's because she doesn't feel like she belongs. I don't know. Ichigo is going to transcend those beliefs. I recognize this character. I've seen pictures of him before. No, not this guy. The other guy. My bad. Renji. Abarai Renji. Okay. Is he going to kill him? Or, I mean, is he going to kill her? He's going to try. Okay, he's strong. Right through her legs? <sighs> Trying to cut her dress off or something? Wow. He's completely different, huh? Still don't fully understand this whole guy business. Rokong District. Captain Kuchi. Is it like her brother or something, technically? Man. This is the character I said looked familiar. I've, I've definitely seen pictures of this guy before. Byakia. It is her brother. Byakia. That sounds so familiar. Ooh. Hey, she still got that reaction time. Kagun. Man, the vengeance here. Oh. Ooh. Okay. How does this happen? Byakia! Oh. Well, she's barely dodging him now. Rukia is in trouble. Is Ichigo going to show up or? There's no way that she's going to die. Oh, what was that? Oh! Ishida? The track! I like that. It's Ishida. My man. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seems like a very well thought out excuse. <laughs> Shit. You know, my man. He's gonna kill him? Why is he shaking? Oh no, he's shaking in excitement. Ichigo is still unaware of what's going on. D did we really need to see that? <laughs> she strapped him to the back of the toilet. You gotta tell him. She's clearly the one who strapped him back there. Yeah, how did he not see that note, honestly? <laughs> Cone, man. Nobody really cares about you, man. Uh, that's if anything that's gonna make him worry. Yeah, Ichigo is not that kind of guy. He's gonna go look for her. <laughs> oh, bro, so fucked up. Urahara just showed up. Out of nowhere. Like Peter fucking Pan. <laughs> Urahara is becoming more and more important right now. Ishida got taken out? Off screen. Oh shit. He's bleeding all over the place.
Oh, let's go, Ichigo! Yoroshiku. <laughs> it's endless potential. Obviously, there's a reason why he came. No, he's gonna, he's gonna have the advantage on power, but he's gonna have the disadvantage on experience. What happened? Oh, he got... I didn't even see what happened. He just, like, randomly got cut. Yeah, like I said, he has a disadvantage in experience, man. <laughs> Chigo doesn't care about cheap shots, man. You know, it looks like there's a little scratch there. Somebody saw that? I mean... Everybody could see that if they were, you know, could see spirits. He did. I don't know about that. Ask it. Apparently they have names. Whoa! What the fuck? It looks like Arlong's sword from One Piece, kinda. Ooh! It like bends like that too. Ooh! Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> Doubtful. We're only 20 episodes in. Not even 20 episodes in. There's no way he's gonna die right here. <laughs> it's like a snake thing. It's like a whip almost. Like a whip sword. All right, wow. So Ichigo is in a fight with Shinigamis from the Soul Society and some strong-looking ones, one of them being Rukia's brother, Byakuya, who I, I said in the reaction, I've seen pictures of him before. He kind of looks like Death the Kid from Soul Eater a little bit uh, with his hairstyle. But anyway, yeah, so they're in a serious fight, and it turns out that your Zanpakuto sword actually has a name, and it's almost like it's like a personification of the sword. Like, it has a soul of its own. Um, so, you know, Ichigo's obviously not really controlling his Zanpakuto that much. He's just a big ass sword. And that maybe that is part of like the Zanpakuto itself, but clearly he's got room to grow and which is kind of insane considering he did injure the Menos Grande, um, in that previous episode. So that's pretty fucking awesome. Um, and you know, it's, I don't think Ichigo's going to die here. Obviously Rukio is not going to die here. Something's going to happen. Byakuya seems interested in Ichigo. I bet Byakuya is going to be the one who's going to be like, wait, let's, let's actually take him and train him to be a Shinigami or something, something of the like. But you know, clearly this, this whole thing, this grudge against Rukia who gave her powers to Ichigo is going to not going to end here. It's going to probably lead into the end of like throughout the end of this arc. It's probably going to be the main thing. Um, so we'll have to see what happens. I mean, I'm interested. Urohara is the one who helped Ichigo get there. So I wonder if he's going to intervene at all. Um, yeah. Without further ado, guys, let's keep going. Next episode. Yeah, he would never give up. That's not the kind of person he is. Rukia! There's no way Ichigo is going to run away. There's absolutely no chance. Dude, after his shoulder got run through by that sword. What you going to do, Ichigo? What you got? She got something. Look at him. He's like funneling his spirit energy into the Zanpakuto. Look at that. 
Ooh. Unleashed. Ooh. Oh. Look at those movements. <laughs> oh, he cut his little thing off. Uh oh. What? Look at that face, bro. This is going to have such a backfiring effect. I can feel it. His adrenaline's just pumping. Whoa, that evil face. Byakuya is impressed. I'm impressed. Holy shit, man. It's got unlimited potential, man. Ooh! He's not gonna kill him, though, right? Wait, what happened? His sword just, like, shrunk. Oh, he used all of his energy. Byakuya? He took his sword. <laughs> what? Oh my wa mo shinderu. Nani? Or this is like a brook walk by too. You have already been cut. <laughs> <laughs> Byakuya's on another level, man. I knew it. He's had that aura about him. That's because he's falling in slow motion. I'm speechless right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, holy shit. They're gonna remember that, man. I'm telling you, they're not gonna kill him. Oh, sure. You were about to die, dude. There's no chance he's dead. Sorry guys, but I, I can't feel like upset about this or worried about Ichigo because there's 300 episodes to go. There's no way he's dead. I can feel Farukia though. Who? He looks like who? There's no way he's dead. Or does he die and become like a Shinigami for real? That would be dope. Okay, actually, that would be cool. Like, give us like a Yu Yu Hakusho thing where he's like dead, but he's still the main character because he's in the ghost form for the rest of the show. I could see that. He's not dead though. <laughs> Man, that, that face, that smile, bro. After taking that attack from Byakuya too. Rukia, don't be like this. You're just you're just telling him you're just telling yourself that Yeah, you're full of shit. You're just protecting him. Man, she doesn't mean it, man. We're from Unit. There's no way. She can't. That face. 
Rukia. Wow, that that technique is fucking OP. What the hell? It's like a freaking key. From anywhere, they can just transport to the Soul Society. Sorry, guys. I just I'm kind of speechless right now. And the portal is closed. Man, she just did that to protect him. Yeah, she didn't mean any of that shit she said. Wait, where's Ishida? He was literally just here. The rain coming down. The symbolism in that. The light coming back on. Urahara. Man. I really wonder what connection Urahara has with the Soul Society, if any at all. Oh, okay. No dick looking ass, Ken looking ass, Ichigo. <laughs> Am I right? Is he gonna die? Oh, weird. It's a Japanese style house. That was really weird. The question is, how can he get to the Man, this sucks. Dude, you can though. Come on. I knew Rohar was going to be the key. Condition. Training arc! Definitely not. He just got fucking blasted. Yeah, man. He's got hella potential, though. A one month waiting period before getting executed. Ooh. 10 day training arc, huh? You gotta save Rukia. It's a shown in battle anime, so yes. <laughs> he can. What kind of training are we talking about, though? How are they going to do it? Wow. Yoruichi. Rukia is captured. She's in the Soul Society. Ichigo almost died. Ishido was severely injured. We saw how strong Byakuya was, man. Byakuya clearly is the top. He's probably the strongest person we've seen so far in the show with how fast he was with that um, draw and, and uh, that draw technique that he did. And also just his attacks that he said were supposed to actually like target his soul, which is kind of fucking crazy. Ichigo showing his immense potential this episode, but showing that he doesn't have control. And Urahara being the one to save him. I knew Urahara was going to be important. He seemed to be kind of in on... He kind of he kind of seems to be like... He seems to be in the know for what's going on in the Soul Society and with all of the Hollows, even though he's not a Shinigami himself. So I knew he was going to be important in some way. He's going to be training Ichigo for the next couple episodes, I'm guessing. And it's, it's, it's Operation Must Save Rukia from now on. So I think I will watch one more episode. I know we've done a lot of episodes of this, this video, but I want to I wanna get caught up to Bleach. So let's do one more, guys. Well, yeah. Oh, it's the... 
He can't feel it. What does that mean? Everybody forgot her? Are you sure? I feel like Orihime and Chad will remember. Wow. <laughs> That's a, what a way to dismiss your class. Dude, there's no way that he forgot. No, the, the people who are high spirit energy remember. Man, fuck off. <laughs> I mean, Chad remembers, bro. He still got that his hair over his eyes. He remembers. <laughs> Player. Does Ichigo still have his powers? He has to, right? Otherwise, what would be the point of training with Urahara? Or he may. She remembers. She fucking. I knew it! Fucking knew it. Aww. She finally gets to thank him for that. That's cute. Oh, she's, she's just gonna. He's gonna say it. Ooh. Or Hima's gonna wanna help? Maybe. Look at her booba, they're huge. <laughs> His resolve is strengthened because of her. I know it for sure too. Yoruichi keeps showing up. Now just get out of your cat form, please. <laughs> oh my god, not this again. Fucking weirdo, man. It makes me uneasy too. What are you talking about? You're being a weirdo. <sighs> okay, back to important things. This is a soul society. It's like a fucking giant place. This is the first time we're seeing what this place actually looks like. <laughs> Ika Bras. <laughs> they still have to eat even. Can we learn what kind of beings these think, think these people are? I thought they weren't alive, technically. They're not people. Or it's just like an alternate world. Man, no hesitation. Are they actually- they're gonna kill her, right? Alright. Kind of seeing a different side of him. They're related. No mercy. Wow. That's crazy. Time for some training? Underground? Whoa, that thing goes down far. What? Right? What the, what the hell? Oh! He's chained. How did he manage that? Oh, because of the oh, because of the attack from Byakuya. Byakuya's attack did this. What is that? What the fuck? A fight to the death with a child? She's gonna be secretly overpowered, isn't she? That's how, that's just how anime works. Ooh. Oh, 
<laughs> All right. He looks like he's ready to do some Taekwondo. <laughs> Ooh, okay. That was like a Dempsey roll. You're getting a little overconfident. Uh oh. <laughs> oh! What is this little girl's power? What? あえ、すまり。霊力回復に成功したってことです。このレッスンのポイントは一発勝負。最初の一撃をかわせるかどうか。ああ、that's They're going to take the lesson, too. Okay, so Yoroichi's going to train them. They're going to do it. Of course they are. Wait, is this going to be a training arc for them, too? It's just a training arc for everybody, I guess. <laughs> Time to stand under the waterfall. Isn't that Orihime? <laughs> They're all so confused about Yoroichi. <laughs> yeah, what's the big deal? This is an anime. <laughs> Chad, the real one. <laughs> yeah, don't be like that, Soon Soon Kun. Hmm. Horihime. She'll do it. Jeez, they're really accentuating her booba in that shirt. Which I'm not complaining, but. I don't know, you just really don't see it with the uniform. What is he gonna do? He's gonna become a Shinigami for real! But how is he gonna do that? Wait, so he's actually going to go the Yusuke Yurameshi route then. <laughs> what the guy sitting on him? <laughs> oh, he's still going! <laughs> Wait, so what's the plan here? What happened to the old guy? Whoa, he's like completely bound up. Oh shit. I'll show you a shaft. <laughs> what is. Uh oh. Oh no. Three days? Oh shit. How is he gonna. I don't get it. What? Man. Let the training begin, Ichigo. Trying to regain his powers. Because after Byakuya attacked him in the fight, he basically. He basically took away his Shinigami powers and returned his soul to that of an average human. So this training from Urahara is important so that Ichigo can go back to the Soul Society. But here's the thing that I'm worried about is that, yes, he has to do that. He has to get his Shinigami powers back. He has to get his old spirit energy back. But but he wasn't strong enough even with those two things to um, fight Byakuya and uh, Renji. So how is he going to infiltrate you know, the Soul Society without anything extra. So I think that he's going to 
a couple things probably going to happen. Uh, my guess is that he's going to get some more training and he's going to become be able to harness his Zanpakuto and name it. Uh, I think that's going to happen this in this training arc. I think that he's not only going to go alone, he's going to go with Urahara, he's going to go with um, Chad and Orihime and Yishida are probably all going to train and learn how to use their powers better. And so they're all going to infiltrate together. That's probably my guess going forward. But, you know, it's interesting. It's fun to see a training arc. I love training arcs in anime. Hunter Hunter, for example, had one of the best training arcs in all, of all time. I absolutely loved that. So this is great. Yoruichi, I'm still confused about <laughs> why it's a man's voice. Um, don't tell me. Don't tell me in the comments. I don't want to know. I'll learn when I get to it. But, hey, guys, thanks for checking out my reaction. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm thinking, after going through these episodes, uh, one of the options that I wanted to bring up with you guys, if you made it this far, is that I was thinking about doing a reaction live stream for Bleach, or a couple of them to try to catch up and maybe not as post as many Bleach videos just because these take so long to make. Um, for example, this recording is already about two hours long. And think about just editing through all of that. It's going to take a while. So uh, let me know what you guys think about doing um, reaction live streams. And if you guys would like to come and hang out with me and watch some, some Bleach together, that would be awesome, I think. Interact with some of, my, uh, some of my fans. I would really appreciate you guys showing up for that. Let me know down in the comments if you think that's a good idea. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for checking out my reaction. I really appreciate it. Leave a like if you got any enjoyment out of this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Without further ado, guys, I've been Zach. You've been you. I'll see you in the next one.